Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews. Welcome back to another weekly entertainment news video with tons to go over some big news story that we covered earlier this week, like the Superman casting. We've got Venom set photos and set videos and Among Us series in development along with Tyler Perry's next movies. So lots to go over. So let's just get straight into it here. <laughs> So for those of you coming back, thank you so much for coming back to another weekly entertainment news video here. So if you are new to the channel, if you're checking this out for the first time, I do these videos every single week where we cover basically movie news, TV news, sometimes gaming news and even Lego news as well. As you can see, a Lego head here, love collecting and building Legos. So we go over that along with like mostly movie and TV news series here. So if you are new to the channel and you'd like to hear about these types of videos, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on these every single week. Normally post on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on like timing and scheduling. So subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that. And also regarding these videos, timestamps are always in the description down below. So anything that you do wanna go ahead, check out anything you're more interested in. If you wanna skip around, hey, no judgment here. Timestamps will be in the description down below for that. But we'll start off with trailers first of all here so earlier this week the trailer that got announced the big one that was revealed in terms of Blumhouse Studios was the FNAF trailer the Five Nights at Freddy's trailer and I gotta say I posted my shorts reaction for this and I am loving what they're giving us here the animatronics look fantastic the horror elements look really great I'm still not sure if it's a rated R movie or if it's a PG-13 movie. I'm really hoping for the rated R just for the kills that we're going to get. I recently actually just bought the Five Nights at Freddy video games. I've got it right here. Power of editing. I have to run and collect that. But as you can see, I'm not sure if it will pick up on camera here. The Five Nights at Freddy video game. This is Nights 1 to 4, I believe it is. I have never played the games before. And so after like hearing about this movie coming out, after all the drama that took place, I'm going to place it next to the flash right here. You keep an eye on it, Barry. After hearing all the drama and everything like that with it and it finally coming out, I was really, really curious about this. And so I finally got this game, planning on playing it pretty soon, just before the movie comes out, because I love this trailer. I am really liking what they're showing us. I'm really liking the vibe, the tone, the atmosphere that we're getting with this movie. And like I said, the animatronics look fantastic. The kills I'm hoping are gonna be really brutal. So I really did enjoy the trailer that they released here. I'm not sure if they gave too much away or if it's just my understanding because they showed um, the police officer in like the hospital bed. I don't know if that's gonna be towards the end of the movie or if it's like another scene in the movie. But I'm hoping that they haven't given too much away here. But just so far, really enjoying what they're showing here. So Five Nights at Freddy, super pumped for it. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below. What your thoughts are about the trailer? Are you a fan of the games? Let me know in the comment section down below. But for the next trailer that recently just got released at the time of this video being posted, maybe like two days ago or so, but they released the Dune Part 2 trailer, one of my most anticipated movie of the year. And by the looks of this trailer, it honestly could be one of the best movies of the year. The cinematography looks gorgeous. The cast, like you've got Austin Butler, Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, you've got Batista, you've got Josh Brolin, you've got Christopher Walken, amongst so many other casts, just to list off a uh, few, like Florence Pugh and so many other cast members here that are just slipping out of my mind right now. But I... I'm loving what we're seeing from this trailer. Thankfully, I was a bit hesitant to watch this trailer because I didn't want them to give too much away because sometimes trailers just give out a lot. Thankfully, with this trailer, it didn't give out too much away, but you can just tell like what they're building up with here. This is definitely gonna overtake Dune Part 1 in terms of, for me, audience score and like rating when it comes to like the movie itself. And I definitely think this could be one of the best movies of the year. Right now, I've got Across the Spider-Verse as the best movie so far of the year. You've got movies like Oppenheimer. You've got movies like The uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. You've got this one coming out as well. So a really good competition coming out when it comes to movie qualities this year. But I am really, really excited to see what they're going to do when it comes to Dune Part 2. I've yet to read the book, so I am planning on doing it just before this movie comes out. I am because I am very curious about it, but really, really liking this trailer and really excited for this movie. So both trailers got me really pumped to see the movie. So let me know your thoughts about Dune Part 2, the trailer. What your thoughts are about that in the comment section down below. Now, obviously, the big talking point when it comes to this week here is I made a video separately about it 
it's about the Superman casting. So we finally got our Clark Kent and Lois Lane. So like I said, I did make a separate whole video about that post that's somewhere around here. If you want to know my full thoughts about it, full details about all of that here. But basically tons of news outlets reporting this. Hollywood Reporter, Deadline, Variety, all these news outlets kind of confirming here. So we were discussing this with the deadline and it basically confirmed again that Superman Legacy's James Gunn taps David Cornsware and Rachel Brosnahan to play Clark Kent and Lois Lane in the DC studio films, the movie which is coming out in July of 2025. And as I was mentioning in the video when I did talk about it here, David Cornsworth was my top pick when it comes to playing Clark Kent. He also had like Nicholas Holt in the running too. But for me, David Cornsworth, People online as well were mentioning about how he looks very similar to like Henry Cavill. I do see it a little bit there, but with Henry Cavill, he played such a great Superman. So I'm not too fussed that he looks similar to him. I mentioned it, the jawline, the look, he looks like a Clark Kent. So I'm really, really happy with that. Rachel Brosnahan, I hear really positive praise for her being cast as Lois Lane. I've not seen any of her previous work, but I'm really, really happy with this casting choice here. I'm super pumped with the decision that James Gunn made when it comes to this. I mentioned it also in the video that they are looking towards now the Lex Luthor, that you've got the Skarsgård brothers as the two main options, along with Nicholas Holt. My preference was Bill Skarsgård just based on like everything he's done previously. So curious to see what they're gonna do with that. I don't see them making any sort of announcements at Comic-Con when it comes to the Superman legacy. I feel like after the disaster of The Flash, they're gonna be more concentrating on Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2, trying to promote those movies. So I'm not expecting anything Superman legacy related, but I'm honestly really happy that they have announced it now and that we have got our Clark Kent and Lois Lane. So I'm really, really happy with this casting choice here. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below, what your thoughts are about this casting choice. Are you happy? Are you disappointed? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want full details of everything, of why it was announced now, who else was in the running and all that kind of jazz, Check out the video that I did on the channel here regarding all of that information. Now, the next news story we've got here is confirmation of a Netflix movie, Red Notice, the one with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Gal Gadot, and Ryan Reynolds. A movie that I did actually enjoy. It was a little bit predictable when it comes to like the reveals and the surprise twists and turns. So nothing like spectacular or major here, but it was an enjoyable, fun movie. And Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, their chemistry together is fun to watch. But we've got confirmation here coming from The Collider that Gal Gadot says that Red Notice 2 is definitely still happening. We are all talking about it. So during the last week's fan event, Totem, from Netflix, I made a separate video about that for all the announcements. So you can also go ahead and check that out on the channel if you want to know all the details of all the announcements here. Trust me, I always try and keep up to date for all you guys so that way you're always in the know when it comes to everything movie related. So I always got you guys back here. But she basically sat down with The Collider to talk about her upcoming project The Heart of Stone, the Netflix project coming out I believe it was in August. So while talking about that she took a bit of time to talk about her next movie that she's possibly going to be starring in Red Notice 2 which was greenlit by the streaming platform back in January of 2022 but we haven't really heard much information since October of 2022 so since October of last year regarding the project here but she basically confirmed here that we are all talking about it I don't know if I can say anything I already read the second script and it's whoa we're all very excited about it. And we've got confirmation that both Gal Gadot, Ryan Reynolds, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson will be returning to reprise their roles here. So it is gonna be happening. We just don't know when, where, plot details or anything like that here. But again, Red Notice did enjoy it here. We also got confirmation that producers Bear Flynn and Hiram Garcia did tell The Collider that they were trying to make back-to-back -back filming of Red Notice 2 and Red Notice 3 happen, as it just saves time for everybody involved, meaning Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because. You've got these three cast members focusing on like other projects like Heart of Stone for Gal Gadot amongst other projects that she's going to be working on. You've got Dwayne Rock Johnson back into the Fast and Furious franchise here making his movie. You've got Ryan Reynolds focusing on Deadpool 3. So I don't see it happening anytime soon, but we definitely know that it is going to be happening. So probably within the next, I would say four years, maybe three, four years. So we might get it, but who knows? I'll definitely be keeping track on this here. But like I said, Red Notice did have a fun time with it here. So glad to see that Red Notice 2 is happening. If you have seen the movie, let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below. And if you have seen the movie, what your excitement level is for part two, 
Again, please let me know in the comment section down below. Now for the next news story here is a very, very interesting one here. We've got confirmation that the Among Us game, I believe it was, is going to be developing into an animated series. So this is coming from Variety here saying Among Us animated series is in the works at CBS Studios from Infinity Train creator Owen Dennis. And basically as per the official logline, the series is based on the premise of the game, namely member of your crew has been replaced by an alien shapeshifter intent on causing confusion fusion, sabotaging the ship and killing everyone. Root out the imposter or fall victim to its murderous design. Now I'll be honest, I've played it a few times. I just, I, I suck at the game basically. Like I'll, I'll be completely honest, I suck at the game. And, and honestly, it's just hard to like play mobile games. I've got so many on my phone, but I just don't have the time to play it, unfortunately here. But if this wasn't like a game based on this synopsis basically here, this does sound intriguing, does sound interesting here, uh, but I just don't know how it's going to be played out, especially because of like the outfits and that kind of stuff here. I don't know how it could like serve and show on like TV basically here. I'm very curious about that because I, I think this could come across really well if it's done right. This could be potentially a very entertaining show, but it's just about like A, dialogue, B, storytelling and see visuals how it's gonna look mainly so I don't, I don't know I'm I'm a bit torn I'm kind of excited about it to see how it's gonna look but I'm also very hesitant because of the premise like the where it's coming from if that makes sense but again I'm like I'm not like a vivid player that plays it every single day or anything like that it's been a while since I have played the game so I don't know if it's like they've adapted it and it's changed and how like the setup is when it comes to the actual game itself I honestly couldn't tell you I'm not the guy to go for when it comes to like Among Us kind of stuff but very actually curious about that here if you are a huge player of the game if you do play it on a day-to-day -day basis let me know how it is when it comes to like playing the game now has any has there been any major changes here do you think it would work as like a series please let me know in the comment section down below and also those casual players ones that have never played the game as well what are your thoughts about this being adapted into a series please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below when it comes to this one here now for the next news story here we've got understanding of tyler perry's next movie the first movie out of a four pick packed based on amazon studios here so this is coming from the deadline here saying tyler perry sets first movie black white and blue under his four pick packed with amazon studios so tyler perry is making the movie Black, White and Blue at Amazon Studios. It's the first title under a four feature film deal he inked with the streamers back in November. So Perry wrote and directed and will produce the movie Black, White and Blue. And it basically follows Fela Blackburn, whose life is shattered when she loses her husband, Rodney Blackburn at the hands of the police officer. Determined to get to the bottom of the incident and seek justice, she leans on her best friend Marley Wells, who is a lawyer, and her husband Tony Wells, who is a former cop turned into a private investigator. To use her influence to find the truth, but as the truth unfolds, Furla learns that her entire world is rooted in lies and betrayal. Now, I'll be 100% completely honest, this sounds like one of those typical like Netflix movies that you'll see hundreds of on that streaming platform there, so normally I wouldn't be as hyped for it but with Tyler Perry he does really fantastic work when it comes to like his movies so I honestly do have a lot more hope or a lot more optimism when it comes to this project just because like who is attached with it here and Amazon like them projects are a lot of like hit and miss but with this being like a four pick project very curious to see about this here again the premise does sound very generic secrets and lies police investigation former police officer that kind of stuff sounds like it's done a million times but with tyler perry you just know that it is going to be like a good project here so very curious kind of excited as well similar with like the among us that we talked about earlier like there's optimism but still like slight hesitation so curious about that let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below do you think this could be good what's your excitement level is for this please let me know in the comment section down below now for the next news story here is we've just got a quick update when it comes to the sandman netflix show a show that i honestly did actually have a good time with here i actually did a video about this very early on last year my review for that so i'll post that also somewhere around here so we have got like the first look of season two so they're currently filming season two right now for the Sandman show and so we take a look here you've got Tom Sturridge who is in full costume as Morpheus in the set photo here wearing all black with the next set photo showing up here with somebody wearing all white also wearing similar outfit but just in all white so you've got black and white here he's holding something in his hand so we also got to see like another set photo of the two of them face to face here so you've got Sandman basically Morpheus 
in all black with the person my guess is one of the villains of the show in all white here so i won't give away too much in terms of like what happened in season one to like see what the plot could be for season two here but basically the ramifications of the decisions that was done in the previous season in season one is going to be taking effect into season two here so again like i said i I had fun with season one. I enjoyed the show for what it was. So I am actually excited for season two. As long as they're going for like the same tone, the same vibe with a bit more storytelling in there, I'm super pumped for season two here. However, there has no been release date yet due to the writer's strike. It's not being affected right now, but possibly delays could be coming when it comes to this show if the strike is ongoing and it does have that effect. But most likely it's going to be premiering in 2024. We'll just have to wait and see. But so far, not much to go by, not much to work with when it comes to like the set photos here, just the two characters that I showed here. But again, like I said, super pumped for this. Really have got high hopes and high expectations when it comes to season two. So let me know your thoughts about that. If you've seen the show, what are your thoughts about season one? If you haven't seen the show, do you think this would be one that you would check out? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now for the next news story, we've got a couple of casting updates when it comes to the Squid Game. So we've got here that eight new cast members have been announced. This is coming from the deadline. Squid Game adds eight new cast members to round out season two here. I'm gonna apologize in advance if I butcher any of these names here, but the new additions are Park Jung Jung, Jo Yu Ri, Kang E Sim, Lee David, Lee Jung Up, Choi Sung Hoi, Ro Ji Wong, and Wong Ji, along with the returning cast members that we also announced back in the Netflix Totem. And then you've got other players that are gonna be in the game is Yi Sim Wong, Kang Hun, Park Sung Hu and Yong Dong Hung. Now, to be completely honest with you, the only one I know is Park Sung Hung, who was in the Glory one show. If you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend. It's a revenge thriller that really goes through a lot of twists and turns, and it's just fantastic when it comes to the writing. Even like the cinematography and the score throughout the show really is fantastic. So I really, really recommend the Glory show, but. That's the only person I know from this whole casting here. Again, apologies if I butchered any of those names, but these are all the people that are going to be joining season two of Squid Games. Now, as I mentioned in the Netflix Totem video here with Squid Games, it is one of my most anticipated shows from Netflix for the upcoming like couple of years here, but I just don't know if they can top what season one did, especially with like the contestants, unless they're changing the games to something completely different. I don't know if it can go with doing the exact same game, especially because you know what's coming. So I'm very curious. It does really pique my interest to see what kind of direction they will go for when it comes to Squid Games Season 2. And with this cast, honestly, I think it's going to be really fantastic. Like the Korean movies and shows that they are putting out on Netflix have some really, really great content here. So really curious about that. Really pumped. Hopefully we do see a trailer very soon when it comes to Season 2. But my expectation is, again, similar with Among Us and Red Notice, curious, mildly excited, bit hesitant. So I'm not going to temper my expectation too high here when it comes to this. So let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts are, first of all, about the casting, if you're familiar with any of their work? And thoughts about Season 2 in general? Let me know in the comment section down below. But for the final news story we've got here is that they've released some set photos and set videos when it comes to Venom 3. Currently they're filming right now in Spain here and as you can see when it comes to like the set photos here. So as you can see here, I know it's very blurry here, but people that were over there on the set do see that Tom Hardy was wearing the exact same outfit as the post credit scene in Spider-Man No Way Home and the end of Venom 2. So it looks like this is going to be taking place exactly after Venom 2. So, so this looks like no time jump or anything like that. He's wearing the same outfit going straight through to like from Venom 2 to Venom 3 here. Now, we still don't know exactly what the plot is, but there was rumors speculating around in terms of what it could be here. And again, take this with a huge grain of salt. It has not been confirmed. It's just a rumor of what it potentially could be, which I hope to God is not the case. But basically it's confirming here, Venom 3 is set to take place in the same world as Madam Web. And it's a story of Eddie slash Venom hunting down for Peter Parker, but finds out he's just a five-year-old child and struggles with knowing that they need to take down Peter for the future, begins to start seeing Peter as a son-like figure. So again, like I said, I hope to God this is and true because I just I don't think I can take a movie like that. I've mentioned this in my Spider-Man tier ranking video. Post a link somewhere around here for that video. Venom 
I found it okay. Venom Let There Could Be Carnage was just a really big letdown for me here. Not enough carnage. The comedy was just too much at times. So these Venom movies just haven't lived up to the expectation I thought they could have done. So my expectation for this is slightly low. And I hope to God, like, the villain isn't just going to be Toxin because then you've got, like, three movies back-to-back with a symbiote, so Venom taking on another symbiote. I just don't think that they could go with that again, so I'm hoping something completely different when it comes to Venom 3. Again, huge plot difference when it comes to, like, the rumours right now. We've got some set photos as well of, of, like, the wall here. So, again, this is taking place in Spain, but it's supposed to look like Mexico here. So you see the couple of set photos here, some missing posters from what I'm seeing. I don't know if that's going to be really part of the plot or if it's just there as, like, a background here because, you know, with Sony, they'll add something in the background related to, like, Spider-Man or something else related and then just completely just ignore it. Look at the Morbius trailers early on. So not really much to go by when it comes to those who set photos. And again, with the set video here. And Tom Hardy also put this out on um, his Instagram page promoting the movie, promoting that they are filming here. So you see him basically, again, looking like the same outfit as the post credit scene here. Again, so I believe it's a werewolf. I could be honestly wrong, but he's just posted that in his Instagram here. But so far, Again, this is just small minor details, they've just begun filming. But at least there's like cont continuity when it comes to Venom here with him, same outfit, continuing from what took place in the previous movie, but just really, really worried with Venom 3 here. So they can confirm that Juno Temple from Ted Lasso is joining in, along with Mordo from Doctor Strange also joining the cast here. So still going to find out more details here. Again, as they're filming now, more set photos are going to be releasing here. So I'll definitely be talking about it as we find out more information with Venom 3. So again, subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. But that about wraps it up for the weekly entertainment news video here. And yeah, apologies, lots of information thrown at you there here, but curious to know your thoughts about everything as well, especially when it comes to Venom side of things here. Please let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below and everything we discussed here. Please let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section down below as well. But yeah, again, I do this every single week here. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on these whenever I do post here. I have been working on a Ted Lasso video here along with like a Your Honor video. I've just been delayed when it comes to like posting these here, working on them there. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel. Those videos will be coming out in the next couple of weeks along with like a tier ranking for all the Indiana Jones movies. I'm still yet to see some of the Indiana Jones movies. So I'm planning on watching those over the weekend here. So definitely keep an eye out on that because that most likely will come probably maybe Thursday, Friday, because I'm going to be watching the movie on Tuesday. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel for that one. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening here. This is YK Reviews. Peace.